just making it up as I go. Welcome to another edition of Fit and Fire, your home for guns and gear and the fitness to run both. I'm Mark and I really appreciate you guys stopping by. So this edition, we're talking about Red Dot Optics. And if you'll go back to January, you may remember me speaking with Trinity Force at SHOT Show. They're one of the companies that was on my hit list to reach out to them while I was there. And they introduced three new optics for 2018. One of those optics was the Trinity Force Veras, I believe is how you pronounce it. It is their 35 millimeter red dot. And this is kind of their take on the Aimpoint Pro red dot, if you will. And so I reached out to Southern Freedom Arms. They are a distributor for Trinity Force and said, hey, when you guys get those in, would you mind sending me one to check it out and see what it's all about? Andrew over at Southern Freedom Arms did just that. If you guys are interested, I've got a link to their website down in the description below. Again, they are a distributor for Trinity Force. Go check them out and they'll get you taken care of. I also wanted to take a real quick moment to say thank you to Mike and Lisa Irvin of the Tallgrass Shooting Sports Complex. They're, they're the ones that set that complex up and are allowing me to go down there and shoot whenever I have some free time. So I really do appreciate that. And they are also in charge of the Flint Hills Foster Teen Camps as well. So if, if that's something that interests you, I've got a link to that website down in the description below for you to go check out the Flint Hills Foster Teen, teen Camps. Uh, it's, it's a movement that uh, speaks to me, and uh, I would encourage you guys just to go check it out. If it's something that speaks to you, by all means, uh, they have the opportunity for you to send donations uh, to help some underprivileged teens. It uh, would mean a lot to them, it would mean a lot to Mike and Lisa, and it would also mean a lot to me. So, let's get into it. Let's talk about this site right here, right now. So I've got it mounted up on the Reaper. If you guys are interested in the Reaper build and you haven't seen, I've got a link to it right here. You can kind of see some of the things I did to pull it together. But let's talk about the site. So the Trinity Force variance is going to be on the higher end of the budget spectrum. It's going to come in at $169.99 from Southern Freedom Arms. Again, I've got a link to their website down in the description below so you can go check it out. Now, 170 bucks is kind of it's kind of pricey for just a, a mere red dot, but again, it's got a number of different features that really puts it above the rest in that spectrum of budget optics. First and foremost is this is milled out from one solid piece of aluminum. So you know, take the caps off. Everything on here is going to be one solid piece of aluminum. So the risers included, you don't have to worry about the optic being a different piece than the housing. It's all one piece and then they put the glass and the electronics in as they build it. The next thing is how the optic is mounted to the rifle itself. These nuts right here can be locked down by a crescent wrench or a socket wrench. Or if you don't have access to either one of those, if you have something just as simple as an Allen key that you can fit through these pilot holes right through the nuts, you can lock those down that way and kind of torque it down. So that's a great option for you. The only downside, the con to it, is that these are not pinned. So if you back them out too far, they will come off. There is a spring uh, that kind of helps keep this locked down as well. So if the nut comes off, you may lose the spring as well. So something definitely to keep in mind when you are taking this optic off and putting it on different rifles. The next thing is the battery life. This is something that's super impressive for this style of optic. It has 50,000 hours worth of battery life off of one AAA battery, which is super cool. This is the first optic that I have ever had uh, the chance to utilize that I could put a battery in and turn it on and then just forget it. It will shut itself off after a number of hours of non-movement, but as soon as you pick it up, as soon as you move this rifle at all, it's going to turn itself on, which is a great feature. So I can put a AAA battery, which is very accessible. You've got them laying around the house. Most people have them laying around the house anyway. 
uh, and you can just throw one in and forget about it for a few years, you know. Uh, if you're out using it on a regular basis, that battery life uh, time frame will, will diminish. And depending on what setting you have it on, it will diminish it a little bit further. But for the most part, you can put a battery in here and just, <laughs> dare I say, set it and forget it and be just fine. The next thing is the controls that they have. They have a plus and a minus to turn the optic on. You just hit uh, the plus uh, or the minus and it will automatically turn the optic on. If you wanna turn it off, you can just press and hold both buttons and it will shut itself off after depressing both buttons for three seconds. The other great thing about these is that they are very audible and tactile. You can hear them clicking up or down and even if you're wearing gloves you can still feel them moving up or moving down so that's a great feature as well these caps here are you know they're okay they're spring loaded and I've had zero problems with these losing their pins or anything like that like I have with some other um, budget optics the great thing I like about these particular is that on the back side it has uh, a lens right so you have a lens that covers your rear lens and so you can see through there the great thing about it is is you can keep the front cap closed and because of a little trick that your eyes play on you you're able to pull up look through the optic and the red dot and the target will converge on itself if you shoot with both eyes open so that's a really cool feature if you want to keep the lens caps on you're able to do so turret caps. The elevation and windage turret caps here um, are held in place by some rubber lanyards which are they're, they're fine. They can be kind of a nuisance when uh, taking the turret caps off um, but for the most part I like that idea especially if you like to take the turret, turret caps off and just let them dangle you're able to do that. The other great thing that I found uh, that worked for me was I can pull the turret caps completely off of the rubber lanyard and just kind of set them aside. Because that these are set up the way that they are, they both caps say up and right. So as you are adjusting, you know which way is up and which way is right, which would be the same direction. And you can use one cap for either windage or elevation, which is a really cool feature. I really, really like that. But as you can see here, I'm trying to get this undone and it's kind of just, it, it, it's hard to fumble around with it a little bit. So, you know, that's, that's one of those things that you're going to have kind of a con with this style of optic. It's not as, um, not as finished as you would, you would expect it to be, but in the end, it still works very well. So you have a notch on the turret cap and a notch right here in the actual uh, windage and elevation knobs that you're able to turn the cap upside down, see into the cap and see which way to turn right and up. One of the things that I did find that was a little troublesome to me was as I'm turning, turning the windage and elevation knobs, there wasn't much of a click or a you know something that you could hear it clicking or you to feel it clicking as well so that was a that was kind of a little letdown for me especially when I was shooting in the cold it was about 40 degrees with wind probably put it around uh, 32 to 35 degree mark and with that being said I couldn't really feel the clicks nor could I hear them so every time I was turning I was kind of guessing but at the end of the day, I was able to zero it, no problem, and it really wasn't that big of a deal to me. So um, it may be a big deal for you, I'm not sure, but it, you know, just something to consider. Uh, at the end of it, like I said, I was able to zero, no problem, and I was happy with it. So um, here I'm putting the cap back on. Um, once I got it started, there's no problem with that rubber piece getting in the way. So there you go, there's the Trinity Force Verance. Tell me what you have to think about this optic. Sound off in the comments section down below. Is $170 the right price for this optics? I think so. For 
$170, yes, that's going to be on the high side of the budget-minded individual that is out there trying to find a good quality red dot. There are a number of red dots on the market today that could challenge this one, but the two things that I really like about this optic was the fact that it has, has 50,000 hours worth of battery life with an auto on, auto off feature, and the fact that the uh, optic itself is milled out of one solid piece of aluminum. So with those two things pulled together, $170 I think is the right price for this optic. And that's basically all I got for this episode. I sure do appreciate each and every one of you uh, being a part of this channel, swinging by, watching my videos, and of course, naturally commenting on my videos as well. Again, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, complaints, manifestos, anything whatsoever, put them down in the comment section down below. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Those are down in the description of the video as well. That's really all I got this time. Comes a high five. You ready? Here we go. If you made it this far in the video, then I'd really appreciate it if you guys would consider subscribing. You can do that right here. Or if you want to check out some other videos that I've got going, check them out right here. If you like the hoodies and shirts that I'm wearing, that's Revolutionary Patriot. I got a link to their website down in the description below with a discount code. And as always, keep on dropping those bells and shells. Thanks, y'all.